Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I thought I'd go over the complete sketch used in the last video highlighting uh, the function of a hardware interrupt. But in this case I've replaced the RGB LED with three separate LEDs to highlight the interrupt portion of the sketch. So this sketch incrementally increases and decreases the intensity of one of the LED colors and in this case it starts off with the red LED and then whenever it detects an interrupt it switches from the current LED uh, being uh, incrementally either increased or decreased in intensity to the next LED and if the green was lit when the next interrupt uh, was detected it would switch over to the blue. So let me hook up the USB cable for power and you'll see the red LED will come on. And we can see that it slowly decreases and increases in intensity. I don't know if that's getting washed out by this light. I'll turn that off. And then when it detects an interrupt, uh, interrupt zero on pin two, it switches midstream from the current LED to the next, which is blue in this case, because that's what the, uh, the sketch specifies to switch from red to blue. And then if the blue is currently the one that is increasing and decreasing in intensity. When the next interrupt uh, is detected, it'll switch to the green. And there's the green. And then back to the red. So let's take a look at the sketch. So the first thing we're going to do is declare some variables. We have red, green, and blue which are on pins 11, 10, and 9 respectively. And here we have a variable called button underscore int and equal to zero. Now this is the interrupt. And for the UNO, uh, in addition to the pin numbers, there's an ID number. Uh, for the DUO, I think all the pins, there are more interrupts. So the interrupt is just um, the pin number. But for the UNO, the interrupt 0 is actually pin 2, and interrupt 1 is pin 3. So here we're using, we're declaring this button underscore int equal to 0. And here we're declaring a variable that changes within the interrupt. And variables that change in the interrupt have to be defined as volatile. So we're declaring this variable selected LED equal to red. So that's why the, the red LED uh, is lit first when you first power up with this sketch loaded on the Arduino. And here we have void setup where we're using pin mode to declare red equal to an output, green equal to an output, and blue equal to an output. And remember, red uh, is associated with pin 11, green with pin 10, and blue with pin 9 on the Arduino. Now here we define the interrupt, and the interrupt has three arguments. So we have attach interrupt, and the first argument is the interrupt and uh, button underscore int was assigned the number zero. So we're using interrupt zero on the UNO. And this is the function that gets called when it detects an interrupt. And the function that, that gets called is swap, called swap. And the interrupt occurs uh, when it sees the rising edge of a pulse. So remember, uh, when we press that, that button, it goes from 5 volts to 0, and then that goes through the Schmidt trigger, uh, which is an inverter also. 
So uh, that pulse gets inverted. So we're now looking at the rising edge. That's what we want uh, the interrupt to detect. And then next we have the function that gets called when the interrupt is detected. And the first thing that gets done is the uh, current LED gets turned off. So analog right selected LED gets turned off. And here we decide which is the next LED that gets lit. If the selected LED, if the current LED is green, then go to red. Else if selected LED was red, then go to blue. Else if selected LED was blue, selected LED equals green. And this is the function that gets called every time there's an interrupt. So it interrupts the normal flow of the program, which is just uh, the loop. Which is just the loop that incrementally increases and decreases the intensity of the selected LED. So here we have for integer i equal to zero, as long as i is less than 256, keep on incrementing i, and then do an analog write for that selected LED color at that value of i. And then there's a delay. And then next, we have uh, integer i slowly gets decremented so it starts at 255 and as long as i is greater than or equal to 0 i gets decremented by 1 and then that same selected LED color gets an analog right to it at that particular value of i and then there's another uh, 10 for a delay. So this portion of the program is what actually increases and decreases the intensity and this can get disrupted midstream when an interrupt is detected and this function here gets called. So that's it. That's essentially how you use a hardware interrupt with some debouncing uh, circuitry to effectively alter the normal flow of a sketch. Uh, when an interrupt is detected, a function gets called, that function gets run, and when it's finished, it goes back to uh, running the rest of the program or the rest of the sketch until the next interrupt is detected. So if you found this video interesting, feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching.